people welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my makeup collection video i'm really excited to show my makeup collection with you guys makeup is a massive passion of mine and always has been since i can remember i've always been so into beauty and i absolutely love makeup so i'm going to share with you guys my whole makeup collection and some of my favorite items all of my favorite items i will link below and everything else I would just mention. So let's just get straight into it. So let's start off with where I store my makeup. I have the Ikea Malmö dresser, which I love. And I store most of my makeup in this drawer right here. So that is where all of my everyday makeup lives. And then I store some of my other makeup over in the Alex dresser. I have a drawer in the Alex dresser, which is full of makeup that I don't use every day, but I like to keep just in case I need it, such as like vibrant lipsticks, out there eyeshadows, all that kind of stuff. So I am gonna go through all of my makeup with you guys. I'm actually gonna take the compartments out of the drawer and put them on the floor. I feel like that would be easier to talk through it all with you. I'm gonna go through each section and just explain what everything is and what I use it for. So I will start with this section right here. This is my concealers and my eyebrow products. So my favourite eyebrow product at the moment has to be the Maybelline Brow Tattoo. I absolutely love this product. I've used it in a few makeup tutorials now and I have it in the shade Medium Brown. I absolutely love that product. I then have um, the concealers in this section as well. And I did follow the hype and I got the Makeup Revolution concealers. I really like them. I got the shade C14 to contour with, which is really good for contouring. And I got the shade C5 to highlight with. And I did find that on my under eyes it was a bit cakey. So I don't use it on my under eyes, but I do use it on my skin. And to hide blemishes, it is a brilliant concealer. My all-time favourite concealer has to be the Rimmel Lasting Finish. It doesn't crease on my under eyes. It's so smooth and it's really good coverage. So that is definitely my all-time favourite concealer. It's my go-to concealer and I absolutely love it. I have an old MAC concealer in here that I actually rarely reach for now. I would much rather reach for the Rimmel. I have a couple of Primark um, foundation sticks which I really really like if you're wondering what I think of Primark makeup then check out my Primark makeup video which I will link below but they're really good coverage and really brilliant foundations I've got an old makeup revolution concealer that I actually barely use so I don't even know why it's in this drawer I then have some eyebrow mascara again I don't use it that much but it's just in there for if I need it I then have the Primark eyebrow pen which I really don't really use after the video but I explain all that in the video. Moving on to foundation. So the foundation I am absolutely loving at the moment is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear. This is a brilliant foundation. I absolutely love it and it says 24 hour wear comfort and retouch free. It's absolutely brilliant. I worked with Lancome over on Instagram and I am loving their products so much. So yeah, definitely my new favourite foundation. The coverage is fabulous and it's totally buildable. So if you only want a light layer, you can only put one layer on, but if you want a thick layer, then you can just build it up. That is my go-to foundation at the moment. And I wear that in shade 38, but again, I will link it below. My next go-to foundation is the Rimmel Breathable Lasting Finish Foundation. This is a brilliant foundation. I absolutely love it. I have it in shade 402 Bronze and Sand. A really, really brilliant, affordable foundation. Here I have all my backup foundations. I use this foundation, a Freedom One, just to darken any foundation because it's in quite a dark shade. So if I have a tan, I can add that to any foundation. Again, I can use this to lighten any foundation. And I just have a whole range of foundations in there. This one, I've got the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, which I used in my first ever makeup video. It is very thick, very full coverage, that one. In here, I have my priming oil, which is the LMS Superfood Facial Oil. I use this to prime my face before putting on my foundation. I find it gives a perfect base and the foundation goes on perfectly. I absolutely love all of the LMS oils. To apply my foundation, I love the Primark Beauty Blender. 
you just gotta dampen it up and it really loosens it up and it does take a little while for it to get like really soft so just keep on with it keep dampening it and it's definitely my favorite way to apply foundation and I love these blenders as well they're super super soft and I use these to apply my powder and then I've got this mini blender here which is really good as well and they're all from Primark in this section here I have some bronzers and some palettes so this is my go-to bronzer the freedom bronzer it is brilliant I think it's literally a pound I will link it below my favorite bronzer I absolutely love it I also love this Rimmel Radiance brick it's really good for the summertime it gives your skin a lovely glow and another favorite bronzer of mine there it is without the lid it's really really pretty I have the Freedom Strobe Cream Palette, which I used in my first ever video. I don't really use that too much anymore because I now do other ways of highlighting and contouring, so I could probably get rid of that now, but that did last me a good few years. In here, I have the Primark Bronze Shadow and Shade. I really like the eyeshadow colours in there, and the pigmentation is really, really good. So that is a really cute little palette from Primark. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I am actually not too mad on this glow kit. I keep it because it costs a lot of money and I probably will use it in the summertime. I mean, they look nice like on your collarbones. But I have got other highlighting palettes which are a lot better and were like a quarter of the price, if not a fifth of the price. I have this um, Freedom Pro HD Brow Palette. I used to use it all the time for my eyebrows, but now i found the eyebrow tattoo. I rarely reach for that now. Lips. I get so many questions on what I wear on my lips. So you can see I have quite a range of stuff, but I'm going to show you guys my go-to, my absolute favourite lip products. So I have to start with this Barium Lip Liner. I absolutely love this lip liner. It is a beautiful and a really, really lovely shade. In the centre of my lips, I use this lipstick, which is the Rimmel Kate Moss number 42. Again, link below. So I put that in the centre of my lips all over. I then blend it all in with this shade here, which is a Rimmel Kate Moss number 3. My all-time favourite nude lipstick. And it just gives the perfect nude lip. A few other favourites I have in here. I absolutely love that for a red lip. I love the Maybelline um, Superstay 24 hour lip colour. When I was in Virgin Atlantic cabin crew, we used to have to wear red lips. I always wore that and everyone always complimented me on my lip colour. I then have a couple of the NYX lip glosses, which I also really like. That is a lip cream, I think, and that is a lip gloss. I then have a winged liner in there, which is very random, but that is the best winged liner I find because it's waterproof. That is a Rimmel one, so my eyes always water, so when I want to do winged liner, waterproof is kind of like a must. I then have a couple of these in here, the Stay Matte Lip Colours. I don't know what to think of matte lips. I mean, I'm not the biggest matte lip fan, so I don't use matte lip creams very much. Here I have some more palettes. This is my go-to palette. It's a Nip and Fab palette. I actually got this in a goodie bag at an event, but I absolutely love it. It's the most perfect array of brown eyeshadow colours. I actually use that one for my eyebrows when I want to powder them in. I just love all the eyeshadow shades. It's like a really, really beautiful mix of warm browns. I then have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which I really, really like. I mean, I rarely reach for this on a daily basis, but on the very, very rare occasion I ever get time to get ready, then I would reach for this. It's a really, really beautiful colours, as you can see. It's a really gorgeous palette. I then got the Primark Highlighter Palette in here, which actually knocks the ABH one, like it knocks its socks off. It's so much cheaper and the pigmentation is absolutely amazing. It's a really, really beautiful palette and one I really, really love. So it's a must buy from Primark. I then have the Loving Tan Luminous Bronze Shimmer Cream. I've never actually used this because it's been winter. 
and I haven't needed to, but I think in the summer it will be a really nice thing to use. I've then got the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I really, really like this palette, and again, I don't reach for it on a daily basis. It's a very, very pigmented, so you have to have time to work it in, but it's a really, really beautiful eyeshadow palette. Here I just have a random little drawer of accessories, so I have my eyelash curlers which I've fallen in love with lately these are a must in my makeup routine I also use them to curl eyelashes before I apply them it makes them look a lot better on and a lot easier to apply some hair bands these are Jessie's see-through hair bands and I obviously use them as well a nail file nail glue just random things really like nothing too crazy I have the benefit ready set brow I have this from Primark which fixes your winged liner when it goes wrong so I'm looking forward to using that. Other than that there's not really too much, there is the Maybelline gel eyeliner but I prefer the waterproof one. <laughs> Jensen's in the background watching, given his commentary. Here I have all of my eyeshadows that are not in palettes, so just my separate ones. I have a few from Kiko Milano, I really like the Kiko eyeshadows, that is a beautiful gold shade right there. I then have like a mauve kind of shade there. So just an array of eyeshadows. I love this NARS. I've had that for ages now and I really like that eyeshadow. I then have these eyeshadows from H&M which I really, really like and are really good for summertime. So that kind of suede red colour there which is beautiful. And then it in kind of a shimmery ready. I really like those eyeshadows. Moving on to my powders, I have my NARS setting powder. Again, I'm kind of running out of that one, but I have a new love actually, and it's the Bare Minerals one, which I absolutely love. I'm also running quite low on that one, so I'm gonna have to restock. It has a setting powder there, and then a highlighter. That is a really beautiful, subtle highlighter. I then have the one from, um, ooh, where's this? Frida Makeup, which is a really good setting powder as well. Very reasonably priced. Last but not least is this section here. So it's a bit of a random section, highlighters, mascaras. This is my go-to mascara at the moment. It is the Bad Girl Bang Benefit Mascara. It is amazing. I absolutely love it and it's so good. There is the wand, it's a beautiful wand. I love like the small ones. It's so good, I actually don't wear it on my bottom lashes it makes them too long and too thick. I find it looks a bit bizarre. So I use that on the top of my lashes and then I use this Primark one on my bottom lashes and I absolutely love this Primark mascara. It's a really, really good cheap mascara and it's also got one of the thin ones which I love. And I've got a waterproof mascara. I mean, I don't ever use waterproof mascara but it's there just in case. I have these two highlighting drops that I got from Lancome really really beautiful absolutely love them i'm going to be using them a lot in the summer i can tell really really beautiful shades and i will link those below because i absolutely love them that is from primark and i know i'm going to be using that a lot in the summer it's a really really strong pigmented highlighter so that will look great on collarbones blushes i have the nars orgasm blusher which i love and actually my new favorite from primark is this blush which is shade where is the shade it's called adored so it's the adored primark blush i have the iconic illuminator drops which are really really good but really strong you need to be so careful when using these i mean i've gone overboard quite a few times you literally need the smallest drop and it is so illuminating those will be really good for summer again on collarbones a way to mix them in is put a little bit of oil on your body and then put a little bit of those in that i feel like that would look great my all-time favorite highlighter has to be this bare minerals pure radiance highlighter it gives such a perfect natural glow it's really really beautiful and really really natural i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video